Good morning, YouTube. Develop resiliency. How does resiliency relate to happiness? Life happens. Life is not smooth and perfect all the time. There are days when life will happen to you, sometimes weeks, sometimes months, when life will happen to you. And our bodies, they don't always cooperate with us. Sometimes we don't feel so well for a short time or a long time. When life comes and knocks you down, how quickly do you rebound? It's actually a sign of how emotionally healthy you are, how quickly you can rebound after a setback. When there is a problem or a difficulty, developing resiliency will greatly reduce the pain and suffering duration and depth of the pain and the suffering when you can bounce back quickly. So how does one go from breaking down easily over the tiniest things, don't cry over spilt milk, to being able to cope successfully with some of life's most difficult challenges and seem to bounce back to where they started. Just like any muscle, it takes practice. Start with the little things in life. When you can learn to accept things as they are, when you drop a dish, when you're doing dishes and it breaks all over the floor, rather than freaking out, take a deep breath, calm yourself, accept it as it is and let it go. It's only a dish. Accidents happen. Don't berate yourself. Don't panic. Control your emotion. When someone cuts you off in traffic, don't freak out. Calm your emotions. Watch your inner dialogue. Practice being okay with life as it is and the things that are outside of your control. Practice your self-talk. Practice reviewing the capacity of how significant this matter really is in the long term of your life so that you can bring it down to size. When you practice with small daily occurrences of accepting things as they are, bringing the problem down to size, keeping your emotions, your mental state, and your reactions in check, allowing things to just roll over you rather than reacting, eventually this becomes your habitual approach to problems and it becomes easier and easier to be resilient to bigger and bigger problems so that when life really does come and knock you down, you have the fortitude, the practice, the capacity to bounce back quickly, to endure it, whether it be a day, we're good at dealing with a bad day, but a bad year, a long-term health problem, the loss of a loved one, the things that really just rip the rug right out from under us. When those things come, it's not that they won't hurt. It's that you will be able to more easily maneuver them and bounce back from them to a state of peace, happiness, and moving forward. So practice resiliency. Because life always throws things at us that we don't expect. And being able to react to getting knocked down by getting back up will greatly improve your life. Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye, YouTube.